Hi friend, welcome to the live research channel. Today I am going to discuss web services, interview question and answer for experienced person. So let's start. First question is what is REST? It's REST is an architectural style of developing web services that take advantage of the U ubiquity of http protocol and leverage the http method to define action rest standard for the representation state transfer protocol okay but the since the spring framework is the most popular and standard framework for the developing java web application and restful web services as a good knowledge of the spring core and mbc is expected from any java developer but if if the job description maintain rest and web services you also know the aware of the to develop restful web services use the spring framework or spring boot but presently it's a very good combination with the restful with the spring boot okay also provide the an custom annotation for the restful web services means either it rest controller which can make your control rest more aware so that you don't need to common stop required by any single rest api like converting the response to gsm right and also the spring security is also mandatory for developing security for the restful web services in the real world since you can't make life a non traversal rest api without security if you a good knowledge of security basis http basic authentication tickets authentication auth and jwt is very important okay so just for just for introduction about the rest also is another word rest standard for the rest representational is a transfer protocol which used to http protocol to send the data from the client to the server for example a book a book in the server can be deliver to the client using json or xml suppose a book on is on server okay but i can deliver to to the client address okay using json or xml okay however if you are not familiar with the rest i suggest you first check the rest api design and development better understand okay so move to the another question another question is what is the rest full web services there is two popular way to develop web services using the soap means simple object access protocol which is using xml based way to expose web services and second rest based web services which is use the http protocol a web services developed by using rest style also known as the restful web services first one is a soap second one is a rest okay Another question is, can you tell me which API can be used to develop the RESTful web services in a Java? Yeah, definitely. There are many framework or library out of these which help to develop REST web services in a Java including JAX-RS which is a standard way to build RESTful web services. Jersey is one of the popular implementation of jax rs which also offer more than specification recommendation then you can also have rest easy rest 
led jersey and the framework to develop graceful apis also develop i just uh, develop like spring mbc spring boot framework okay next question next question is what is the resource in rest rest architecture treat every content as a resource these resource can be text file html page image video dynamic business data rest server simply provide access to resource and rest client access and modifies the resource here each resource is identified by url and global id okay and also a resource is however data is represented in a rest architecture by exposing the entities at the resource it is allow a client to read write modify and create resource using using http method for example like get method put method post method and delete method okay which protocol is used by restful web services the restful web services make a http protocol as a medium of communication between client to servers okay means in a restful you can use the protocol http protocol but in a shop in a shop you can use xml remember it another question is what is the statelessness in a rest web services restful web services as a for rest architecture a rest web restful web services should not keep a client state on server means a restful web services should not keep client state on a server this restriction is called stateless means restful web services should not keep a client state on a server this restriction is called statelessness it is a responsible of client to pass its context to server and and the server can store the context to process this client for the request for example session maintained by server is identified by session identifier passed by the client next question is what are the advantage of statelessness is restful web services web services can treat each method request independently web service need need not to maintain client preview interactions it is simplify application design as http is itself a statelessness protocol rest full web services work seamlessly with http protocol explain the architectural style for creating web apis the architectural style of creating web apis are http for client server communication xml json or formatting language simple url as a address of the server stateless communication means there are some point okay maintain next question is where you maintain whether you can use get request in need of food to create a resource answer is no you you are not a sup supposed to use put for get get operation should only have a few rights while put resources used to update a data means you cannot you cannot use put okay 
to this one. Right? You cannot put the data. Another question is maintain which markup language can be used in REST web RESTful web APIs. Simply just simply use the JSON and XML are two markup language that can be used in a REST web APIs. Another question is what is ajax ws and jax rs jax ws and jax rs both are libraries apis for doing communication in a various way in java jax ws is a library that can be used to do so communication in a java and rs let you do the rest communication in a java which is the soap versus rest is a very difficult soap is a protocol through which to computer communication by sharing xml documentation soap permits only xml rest is a service architecture and design for network based software architecture rest support many different many different data format but shop is only support for the only xml rest read can be catches but soap is like cost uh, soap based read cannot be catches soap is like custom desktop application closely connect to the server rest client is more like a browser it is known as how to standardize method and application have to fit inside it soap is just so, uh, slower slower than rest rest is a faster than soap it, it run on http but involve the message but it is used to http header to hold the meta information right to hold the meta information next question is what do you understand by the payload in rest web services restful web services payload means data that pass inside the request body also the payload is not request parameters so only you can do payload in post and not in a get and delete okay means only pass get and delete and one question is means suppose can you do payload in a get method the directly no you cannot pass with the post method using the post method okay means post and delete also another question is how do you test rest web services you can test rest restful web services using tools like postman swagger i love postman they provide a lot of functionality to test restful web services like you can send a request to many endpoint you can see the response you can convert them to json or xml and you can even inspect request and response parameter header query parameters okay Another question is how much maximum payload you you could do in the post. If you remember the difference between get and post request, then you know that unlike get, which pass data on URL and the limited limited by maximum URL length, post has no such limit. So there theoretically you can pass unlimited data is payload to the post method is still you need to take a practical thing into account like send the send a post with a large payload with consumer more bandwidth take more time and for present performance challenges to your server so totally depend your server if if your server is very high capacity 
okay then you can load the maximum okay move to the another question okay just see the it's a very most different question just previous question i have discussed is what is the difference between soap and rest web services so so, so much challenging and so much difference in this channel okay so let's there is much difference between two style of web services like so take more bandwidth because of the high bweight xml based protocol but rest take less bandwidth because of wide spread use the json as a message protocol leveraging http method to define action this also means the rest is faster than the soap based web services see the some differences mean the soap is a protocol rest is an architecture style soap is standard for the single object access protocol rest is standard for representation state transfer soap can't be rest because because it is a protocol but rest can be soap web services because it is a concept and you can use any protocol like http and soap soap use service interface to expose the business logic but rest use URI to expose business logic. AJAXWS is the Java API for show web services. R Jax RS is the Java web API for REST web services. SOAP defined standard to be strictly followed, but REST can't be defined too much standard like SOAP. SOAP requires more bandwidth and resource the REST. REST requires less bandwidth and resource to SOAP. SOAP defines the own security but the rest web services inherit security mess message measure from the underlying transport. SOAP permit XML data format only but rest permit different data for format such as the plain text, HTML, JSON, XML. SOAP is less per preferred than rest, rest is more preferred than the SOAP. Just define the more difference between soap and restful in the second same question. If you have to develop web services, which one you will choose soap, soap or restful, and why? It's a very tricky question and depend your depend on your development experience. Okay so let's decide you can answer this question based on upon your experience but okay but they key has if you have different between them then you can answer the question is a more different method. example it is said to develop rest web services than soap based web services but later come with some build in security features means this question is totally based on your experience but since uh, my point of view is a rest restful is a very is a very useful in a develop your project okay move to the another question another question is what is a wsdl standard for web service description language it is an xml documentation containing information about web services such as a method name method parameter the the client needs a data and dictionary which contain information about all the web services with method name and parameter least to involve them for the web services the web services describe language describe language breach of this cap by providing all necessary information to the client some important elements used in a web services Description description language are the follow like message code type binding means the message elements in WSDL means web services description language is used to define all different data elements for each operation performed by the web service port type means the port type elements is used to determine the operation which can be performed any web services this operation can be can have two messages one is input 
and uh, second one is the output message binding means this element contain the use protocols means http another question is what is usage of wsdl in a web services simple wsdl means web services description language is used in web services to describe the availability of service just only ability of the service move to the another question another question is what do you mean by synchronous synchronicities synchronicities is used to bind the client to the execution of the service simple used to bind the client to the execution of the service in synchronous invocations the client block and wait for the service to complete its operation before continue on the other hand synchronous operation facilities a client to invoke a service and then execute different functionalities simple means in a synchronous invocations the client block and wait for the service and logic to complete means it operation before continue on the other hand synchronous operation facility a client to involve invoke a service and then execute different function thank you for choosing and thank you for listen this uh, video so please uh, like and subscribe this channel thank you so much